everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and welcome to the recap of the September 2020 Chemnitz Dialogue live stream. Last month we were inspired by a picture of a rock in a tide pool, low tide on Cape Cod with seaweed and moss and sand and all these beautiful greens and browns. Uh, this felt like a perfect picture to transition from summer into fall. Very, these are very fall-like colors but very much inspired by summertime on the beach on Cape Cod and so I thought it would be a really fun transition inspiration. Now technically right now the live stream hasn't happened yet. It's going to happen in a few hours. But I wanted to prepare for tonight's live stream by swatching some colors that I might want to use. Oftentimes I include the swatching in the live stream itself, but today I wanted to do it in advance so that way I could spend more time from the live stream uh, actually creating the colorway versus picking the colors. I went through and just pulled a bunch of greens and browns and I actually have a crop of brand new Dharma colors I've never tried before. I'm not going to be swatching all of these, I'm going to narrow it down, but I like to tape these squares from the poster, the swatch poster of Dharma Acid Dyes and I tape them onto the lids of the jars uh, so that way it's helpful for me to know approximately what color I want to pick. There are a few colors I already have in mind. I have a stock solution of Jacquard Aztec Gold upstairs. Uh, when I was doing a, when I was filming a recent episode of Dipot Weekly, using some remnants of the radioactive, I think a teal, and then some of that Aztec Gold, it created almost the perfect green um, that I might want for today. But I am excited and lichen, lichen and olive brown look like they could have a good shot. So let's go swatching. In my catering steam pan that is dedicated for dyeing yarn and isn't used for food, I added a splash of vinegar, enough water to cover the yarn, and 100 grams of Knit Pick Stroll. This is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. I popped on my respirator mask, safety goggles, and gloves, and started adding tiny bits of dye powder from each of the colors that I consider to be contenders for this image. While the pan was still cold and starting with what you see as the far right, I added sand dune, champagne, golden straw, olive brown, fawn, tobacco leaf, avocado, moss green, lichen, chartreuse, and radioactive. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and label it with all of the colors so that way you can see uh, what they are. I plan to poll people uh, during the live stream and see what people think about these colors. I'll pop this up on the screen, actually both uh, a live feed of this image, although I'm going to go ahead and heat set this for, you know, 20 minutes or so. Um, but I will show people this yarn. Uh, but for me, my top picks are the Sand Dune, the Chartreuse, the Lichen, and then a little bit of some Golden Straw. Um, I feel like I don't have like the most perfect sand color potentially the tobacco leaf like really really sparingly is sort of a really good muddy yellow but the golden straw sort of does that already and it's more dilute so I'm thinking that our sand is a combination of those two colors and then we've got our brighter green and then the other green and maybe leave some pops of white in there and so I hope we'll just play with this in a few different ways but when I come back uh, I'll talk a bit about how the live stream went. Here is the finished yarn that we dyed in the live stream. And the very first thing that I want to point out is that the yarn feels less vibrant on almost every level, especially in this green. It really did soften up a ton. While filming the live stream, I really thought that maybe I overdid it with the lichen and had a bit too much pigment, but I love 
how this turned out and how we can still see that sand and rock. There is still a little bit of white in here. Um, the lack of constant coverage around everywhere really works with the way the inspiration photo was and I am thrilled. Here is the finished skein that I used as a swatch uh, at the beginning that I filmed for this recap and we actually ended up using it as the yarn mop for the video. So while I was speckling the color onto this yarn, I would wipe my gloves on this. And it was really, really fun as a way to add a little more pigment to something that was already fairly pigmented. I always love filming any type of yarn mop, but uh, I have so many more new to me Dana acid dye colors that I need to play with. And doing this crude swatching is a really great way to play with colors for the first time because it gives you a sense of how they spread, how they strike, and a few other observations. And it's a great way to compare the relative tones of colors in ways that you can't with the printed swatches that you can get from different companies. I'm now thinking of calling this colorway Low Tide. I don't know if I will remember that when I go to list the yarn in my Etsy shop, uh, but eh, you never know. <laughs> Uh, I don't name a lot of my colorways, but sometimes something just fits. Uh, if you do want to check out my shop, you can find a link to the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop down in the video description. And now it's time for my favorite part of these live stream recaps, and it's where I feature some of your yarn inspired by this same photo. It is so fun for me to see how similar and different people take their inspiration. And as always, I am welcoming you to copy my colorways and techniques, but it's fun to see people who sometimes independently have the same ideas or decide to go in a completely different direction. So if you have submitted a photo, thank you so, so much for sharing your work with all of us. If you would like to be featured in future Chemnitz Dye Along recaps, share the yarn that you dyed inspired by the inspiration photo on Instagram with the hashtag Chemnitz Dye Along or on Facebook in a photo comment on the inspiration photo on the main Chemnitz page. Uh, please make sure you're only submitting yarn that was actually dyed inspired by the photo. Uh, sometimes it's fun to share yarn that fits the photo that you've dyed in the past, but I'm really trying to only feature yarn that was actually that was inspired by the same image. So that way we can show off the range that we all create. Oh, I have so much fun with this and I am so excited to explore these colors further. Like I want to do lichen on its own. I think that it is amazing and I love everything about this. Sometimes something just works and I am thrilled. I mean, I'm honestly thrilled by my colorways a lot, <laughs> but sometimes it works at a level that I'm like, I, I don't know what I would change here. I mean, I could come up with a few other colorways to do by this image, but I am really, really satisfied with what I created. and. It's always really fun when that happens versus sometimes I have a little more debate or a little wish I had done this or that uh, and sometimes I just feel like I nail it and I feel that way right now. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you so much for watching.